the green transition is just too expensive. People will put the bill for the green transition. Jobs will disappear and the economy will crumble. You've probably heard statements like this before, but are these facts or simply myths? Let's debunk four common myths about the economy of the green transition. Myth number one, the green transition will make us poorer. This is not true. The transition to a sustainable economy requires significant investments, but this can fuel growth. The World Economic Forum suggests that as we adopt greener energy sources and improve energy efficiency, energy demand, emissions, and costs will decrease while economic growth continues. Myth number two, the green transition will lead to job losses and economic instability. This is also false. The green transition can bring an increase of up to 884,000 jobs in climate-friendly sectors. What about economic instability? The European Central Bank itself tells us that a faster green transition will bring benefits for households, the stability of the banking system, and the economy as a whole. Myth number three, there is not enough public funding for the green transition, the private sector will have to lead the way. Do you think it's realistic to expect from those who profit from the status quo, private banks and companies, to be the leaders of the green transition? The International Energy Agency expects the public sector to contribute to at least 30% of global climate finance. There are financial tools and moves that governments and public financial institutions can use to make this happen. There needs to be a gradual withdrawal of the support for the fossil fuel industry. Today, EU member states are still giving subsidies to the fossil fuel industry at an all-time high since 2015. The phasing out of fossil fuels must coincide with increased investments in a fair energy transition that offers people sustainable and affordable alternatives. Myth number four, we've done enough already. The European Commission's latest review of the natural and climate plans submitted by member states show that with current policy plans we would only achieve a 51% emissions reductions by 2030, missing the 55% target. So there's still a lot to do, but the green transition is in fact affordable. It's the job of governments and international institutions to ensure that it's affordable for everyone.